Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the synthesis of bile acids. These bile acids are synthesized from cholesterol. This cholesterol is also required for the synthesis of vitamin D and steroid hormones. There are two types of bile acids. These are primary and secondary bile acids. These primary bile acids are Cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid. Cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid. These are the primary bile acids. In this, this cholic acid is the most abundant bile acids. Most abundant bile acids. These primary bile acids are synthesized in liver. In liver from this cholesterol. Coming to the secondary bile acids, these are produced in the intestine from, from the primary bile acids. Secondary bile acids are synthesized in the intestine from this primary bile acids. Secondary bile acids are of two types, deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid. This deoxycholic acid, this is synthesized from this cholic acid and lithocholic acid is synthesized from keno-deoxycholic acid. So these are the types of bile acids. Coming to the biosynthesis of this bile acids, first step is 7-alpha hydroxylation of cholesterol. 7-alpha hydroxylation of cholesterol by the enzyme 7-alpha hydroxylase. 7-alpha hydroxylase and it forms 7-alpha hydroxy cholesterol. 7-alpha hydroxy cholesterol. Here NADPH plus H plus NADP plus. This is the rate limiting reaction and this enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase it is a it is a microsomal enzyme. This enzyme requires molecular oxygen then vitamin C vitamin C as a coenzyme and this requires NADPH for this reaction. So this is the rate limiting reaction in the bile acid synthesis. So first step is the 7 alpha hydroxylation of cholesterol and it forms 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol by the enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase. Second step is conversion of this 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol to cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid that is primary bile acids. So by the enzyme 12 alpha hydroxylase here 2 CoA SH is added and propionyl CoA is released. It requires molecular oxygen then NADPH plus H plus and the uh, enzyme is 12 alpha, alpha hydroxylase and it forms the primary bile acids that is cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid. Cholic acid keno deoxy cholic acid. Here also this molecular oxygen NADPH plus H plus then 2 CoA SH is added and propionyl CoA it is released. Propionyl CoA is released. So this is the second step that is the conversion of this 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol to cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid by the enzyme 12 alpha hydroxylase. This reaction also requires this molecular oxygen NADPH and CoA SH. 
Then next episode, these are the primary bile acids, cholic acid and chenodeoxycholic acids. Next step is conjugation of these primary bile acids with glycine and taurine. With glycine and taurine. Conjugation of primary bile acids with glycine and taurine. And it forms here glycocholic acid and taurocholic acid. Here it is glycokinodeoxycholic acid and taurokinodeoxycholic acid. So, conjugation with glycine, it forms glycocholic acid. And here, conjugation with taurine, it forms taurocholic acid. Same also, same here also, conjugation with glycine, it forms glycokinodeoxy cholic acid. Here with taurine it forms toro kinodeoxy cholic acid. So this is the third step. Here this ratio of glycine to taurine. Glycine to taurine ratio is 3 is to 1. So this glycocholic acid will be 3. Here, taurocholic acid will be 3. That is 3 is to 1. That is the ratio of this uh, glycine to taurine conjugates. Usually, the bile has alkaline pH. Bile has alkaline pH and it has sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium. Bile acids exist in bile as sodium salts. As sodium glycocholic and Sodium taurocholate. So these are called as bile salts. Bile salts. So this um, bile, as, bile acids usually exist as sodium salts. As sodium glycocholate and sodium taurocholate. These are called as bile salts. So next step is formation of secondary bile acids from primary bile acids. So this primary bile acid, these are formed in liver. Secondary bile acids for, are formed in intestine by the action of intestinal bacteria. So, from this uh, primary bile acid, that is glycocholic acid, taurocholic acid, it forms, that is uh, cholic acid forms deoxycholic acid. That is one of the secondary bile acids. This is by deconjugation and 7 alpha dehydroxylation. 7 alpha dehydroxylation it forms deoxycholic acid. This is in intestine by the enzyme by the intestinal bacterial intestinal bacteria. Here also this kinodeoxycholic acid it is converted it is converted to secondary bile acid that is called lithocholic acid. Litho Cholic acid. Here also deconjugation and 7 alpha dehydroxylation. Here this also this also takes place in intestine by intestinal bacteria. Here it is litho cholic acid. So this is the synthesis of bile acids, primary bile acids and secondary bile acids. So, this is the biosynthesis. Coming to the regulation of this bile acid synthesis. Rate limiting step is, rate limiting step in the biosynthesis is the first step. That is uh, catalyzed by the enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase. Seven alpha hydroxylase. This is the rate limiting enzyme, and the rate limiting step is conversion of this cholesterol to seven alpha hydroxy cholesterol by the enzyme seven alpha hydroxylase. Activity of this enzyme seven alpha hydroxylase is feedback regulated through nuclear bile acid binding receptor that is known as farnesoid X receptor. Farnesoid X receptor. So, this 7 alpha hydroxylase, activity of 7 alpha hydroxylase is feedback regulated through the nuclear bile acid binding receptor that is farnesoid 
X receptor that is FXR. This 7 alpha hydroxylase activity is enhanced by endogenous and dietary cholesterol. Its activity is enhanced by endogenous and dietary cholesterol. So, cholesterol feeding causes a stimulatory effect on this 7 alpha hydroxylase enzyme. Then, hormones like insulin, glucagon, then glucocorticoids and thyroid hormones. Hormones like insulin, glucagon, glucocorticoids and thyroid hormones also regulate the enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase. Then bile acids causes feedback inhibition on the enzyme. Bile acids feedback inhibition of on the enzyme. So this is about the regulation of bile acid synthesis. Coming to the functions of these bile acids, bile salts. So this bile salts, bile acids exist in bile as sodium salts as sodium glycocholate and sodium taurocholate. So these are called as bile salts. Coming to the functions of this bile salts, this lowers surface tension. Lowers surface tension. Because of this property, they helps in the emulsification of fats. Emulsification of fats. This emulsification is a prerequisite for the action of pancreatic lipase on fats. Pancreatic lipase. So, this uh, one of the function of this bile acid is lower surface tension. Because of this property, they help in the emulsification of fats. Emulsification is a prerequisite for the action of pancreatic lipase on fats. This is the first function. Second function is this bile salts accelerate the action of pancreatic lipase. That is the second function. This activate the action of accelerate the action of pancreatic lipase. Then third uh, third function is bile salts form micelles with the fatty acid. This bile salts if uh, they form uh, micelles with fatty acid, then mono uh, and diacylglycerol and triglyceride. So, this bile, bile salts form micelles with fatty acid, mono and diacylglycerol and triglycerides. Then next function is, they help in the, up, helps in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins. That is A, D, E and K and also this uh, carotid. So, bile salts helps in the absorption of A, D, E, K. That is uh, uh, fat soluble vitamins and also for the absorption of carotene. The next function is they stimulate intestinal motility. Intestinal motility. Next function is bile salts keep cholesterol in solution. Keeps cholesterol in solution. This cholesterol remains soluble in gallbladder bile by this bile salts. So these are the functions of bile salts. So this is about the uh, synthesis of bile acids. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.